Hey everybody, it's Alex, known as Alex by Design on Poshmark and Instagram, and then on Mercari, I'm known as some number and letter combination. Uh, today, I wanted to do a little bit of a video. Um, I went and saw my consigner today, and um, I picked up a bunch of clothing and home goods from her, uh, so I wanted to show you guys what I got. Now, for those of you who are curious about consignment, I started consigning with this woman two months ago when I was kind of strapped for cash and I needed more inventory. I wanted to have kind of like a, a no risk situation. Um, so what I did, okay, sorry, my camera position was bugging the crap out of me. I felt like an 80 year old. So anyways, um, I, what I did was I posted on an app called Nextdoor. Um, I posted an advertisement that said like consign with me um, and I'll give you a percentage of what I sell it for. Um, and I got two responses. One of the women I'm consigning for, I'm not picking up anything else from her right now because um, her stuff doesn't really go with my closet trend. So I'm posting all of her stuff on Mercari, which is kind of like my... I wouldn't say dumping ground, but like it's not the same as my closet on Poshmark, which is more curated for my style. And Mercari is kind of like my well-rounded um, platform where like people, I don't know how to explain it, like you're not expecting people to come in and shop a bunch of stuff from your closet. It's more like they might pick one thing and they're not going specifically to somebody's closet to purchase. So. Um, this consigner that I picked up from today, I love picking up her stuff. It's styles that I just fawn over when I see them. She tells me stories about everything that I actually enjoy hearing. Um, in her home goods, she understands that I don't have a lot of space. I work in a loft and um, part of a second bedroom that we have in our house. And like you can see behind me, I have my bin stacked up to the ceiling. We have guinea pigs on the other side of my camera here. My desk is like, two feet away from me so there's just not a lot of space for me to be like yeah sure I'm gonna take you giant home goods so um, anyways I just picked up some stuff from her today my hair is bothering me but let's get into the haul so the first item that I have is this like bizarre fish on a stand that's removable this like three little rocks on it um, it's handmade and it's got like really nice woodwork on it you can even like see the grains on oh, my sweaty fingerprints um and it was she actually ended up buying it on um ebay and she said like the guy that makes them sells them super super expensive um but she ended up getting it like at the end of an auction for a really good price she's like it just i have other fish stuff that i use or that i've purchased out in africa she sh like travels everywhere it's amazing um, and she's like, this just isn't really me anymore. If you can see what you can do with it, give it a shot. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? Why not? I got space in your home bin. Um, okay. And this is going to be like a lot of bouncing around between home goods and clothing. So you're just going to have to bear with me when I was over there. Um, I brought my own reusable bags, um, cause I don't bring plastic home. So, uh, I was like putting stuff in the bags strategically. So my five mile drive home, I didn't break him anything. So now we're gonna move on to a Bowden jacket. So if you ever shot my main closet on Poshmark, um, I have a lot of Bowden in there, 90% of it's from her. I find it very rarely when I'm thrifting, um, but she loves Bowden. So here is one piece from her. It's like a dusty blue colored blazer. Um, it's got white stitching and then it's got snap closure. Here is the label, and it looks like, I think it's a size 12. Yeah, size 12. Um, so she really likes the uniqueness of Bowden, so I've gotten a lot of stuff from her, which is awesome. Next, we will do another Bowden. It's gonna be a lot of me saying Bowden. Bowden, Bowden, Bowden. You know when you say a word a lot of times and it starts sounding weird, Bowden. <laughs> so I actually have, I have a gray one that I'm gonna be looking at, but this is a similar style. So it's like an A-line skirt. Um, it's got velvet ribbon detail all over the bottom in different shades of gray. And then these are what the, like, the little flowers look like. By the way, I just heard Nick come into the garage, so I'm gonna scream at him in a minute and say, hi, I'm doing a video, leave me alone. It's just a heads up. Um, so it's got a side. Hi, Hello. I'm doing a video, leave me alone. <laughs> Anyways, 
All right, so here is the label on this one. Looks like it is also a size 12. Nope, it's a size 10. Um, and it's got a nice liner on the inside. Uh, this is the one I was just talking about. So I've got one that's like navy and it has different colored uh, scalloping on the bottom. And so this one's gray and it's got darker tones on it, which is so cool. Um, so it'll be nice. I think I might put those next to each other, see if somebody wants to bundle them. So here's the label. This is a 12. <laughs> and the funny thing is she's not a size 12. I don't know. Maybe she's lost weight. Okay, so this is probably my favorite piece that she sent me home with. Um, this is a Kimi and Kin. Let me see. And it's size 8. So here is the label. And then here is the blouse. So it's like a uh, drop shoulder um, button-up blouse with kind of like a pleated detail and the embellishment and stitching is so cool. It's like heavily knit and it's got little um, elastic uh, sleeves on it so it's got that tight kind of, um, ooh, like a poofy sleeve. I don't know what the word is. But yeah, this one is my favorite piece that she sent me home with and I think, yeah, there's even the stitching on the front which is so cool. Um... And then she also likes Garnet Hill, which I don't ever really find thrifting, but I find that it sells pretty decently for me on Poshmark because it kind of fits my closet style. And like, if you're looking at my flannel and you're like, what, what is your style about? Like, I will wear a flannel one day and then I'll be like totally bow haul the next day and then super preppy. Like, I can't ever really decide what I want to look like. So. Um, my closet's a little bit of everything as well. So this is mm, more like a midi length, maybe even a maxi skirt. It is gray in color and it's really nice cotton. It's stretchy and it's double layered. Here is the label, size medium. Um, this is Garnet Hill too. So this is a wrapped, yeah, it is Garnet Hill. Here's the label, it's a size medium. So it's a wrapped pant. I don't know what this style is called. I'm gonna have to look into it, but it's um, almost like a scrub material. And then you've got the pants, and then it has this wrapping in the front. You see that? You see that? And then a little bow. And then there is the pattern, floral. She has these in tan and she said she never wears the black ones and I'm like, it would be the opposite way for me because black is one of my favorite colors to wear. So she apparently is really enjoying consigning with me because she said that she gave this to her daughter and she told her she wanted it back so she could sell it. <laughs> but it's uh, this is actually new without tags, so it's Sundance size six. Um, and it's also a maxi dress. Um, and it's lace on the upper and then it also has a little bit of a slip built in on the inside. Really soft, um, it's gray in color and then it has sheer sleeves on it. So just a really, really pretty um, style. And then here is like, they just do so well with their stitch work, I love it. Um, and so this is actually new without tags. Her daughter had it and she never wore it. Um, but she took the tags off, so. All right, I do believe this is Sundance as well. This is my second favorite piece that I picked up. So here's the label, size so medium. Um, it's got orange pom-poms on it. I love orange. So it's a blouse, long sleeve, kind of a crinkle style, but not like your 90s crinkle where it's like this big and then you pull it apart and it's like a 2X. Um, but here is the print on it and then the orange pom-poms that go down the sleeves, so cool. And then it's got like a little slit v-neck on it. Okay, we're down to the last one, a big one. So this she got in Italy at an airport. Um, it's a pig uh, suede or pig leather blazer. It's got a bazillion buttons in the front. I'm only gonna button one. Let's see, it's got like a ton of buttons on it. It kind of gives me that like military feel or um, kind of medieval feel. It's a size, let me see here. 
Mm, it says size 14 UK. There isn't a US sizing on it, but it's so soft. Like she stored this very well. Um, here's the back part and it looks like it's kind of peplum. Yeah, got a couple little slits or pleats in the back. Um, I don't know what the Brandon is and neither does she, so I'll have to kind of look into that. She sent me home with linens today, which I haven't consigned linens with her yet. Um, I don't know much about this brand, but it's called Billard. So here's the label. Here's one of them. And these are the shams. There's also a quilt for it. She said that it's the queen, but she would think that it'd be more like a fuller queen because it's one of those um, comforters that like fits just to the edge of a queen size bed. And if you're like any other person that's sleeps with another person at night, you're always fighting over the covers and there's no reason that you should have something that only just fits to the edges. You need something big. Um, so this has pom-poms all over it too. It's gray in color. Look at those little pom-poms. And it's on the quilt as well. So there's two of these shams. One, two. And the quilt. I don't know. This isn't technically a quilt. Oh, it's missing a pom-pom. Um, but I'll have to look up. Oh, look, it's reversible. That's why it's white on the other side. So you could have it white or gray. Hmm, that's pretty cool. So my next item, she actually just gave me this tote. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do anything with it. It looks like just one of those totes you would get for free. Well, it's a Clinique. Oh, it's new with eggs though. Um, my checkbook, I had hair today. And then she gave me an oil lamp and I've never looked up comps on the I mean like I've never sold an oil lamp so I have no idea what's gonna happen with this but I think it's really cool it's got a marble base to it um, and brass I believe uh, metal it's dusty so when I hold it up close don't judge me I just I just got home so it's cut glass and then it's got it hasn't looks like a new wick in it so it just needs um the oil and then it's got this marble base and a really nice curved hurricane and then was very honored today because she said wow I'm so glad that you know about some of this stuff because I would never think to sell any of it if it wasn't for you so <laughs> that's me doing my own horn um, she goes, can you do anything with copper? And I'm like, actually, that's coming back in style. So yes, she gave me a fondue pot, probably antique, looks antique. Um, so it doesn't have any of the sticks with it, but it's copper and brass me. I don't know, it's like a golden color. Maybe it just needs to be um, salt and vinegar. And then it's got the wood handle with it. So here is it up close. Really cool, wood detailing. There's the little um, flame goober. And then I was just playing with this, but it actually just like, boop, boop. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. I'd love to say I'm gonna put that on eBay, but they still have me on a limit. Apparently you think I'm sketchy, so that's fine. All right. Oh, I don't wanna do that yet. Another home good. So this one is bagged. It is another sham and um, comforter set. So she doesn't know what this brand is and I don't really, we'll see if I see it on the shams. Um, she thinks it's Martha Stewart, but it's this really cool like gray and a uh, light gray print on it. Um, what are those? Hexagons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, octagons. It's got octagons on it. It's heavy. Like, I'm surprised at how heavy this is. And then, looks like we have one, two, yeah, two shams. This has to be a king. Those are huge. Um, yep, Martha Stewart. Here's the label. I'm not getting up. There we go. And it is... This is a standard sham, so I'll have to look at the label and see what size it is. I'm assuming that it's either a queen or a king. She has a king size bed right now, but I think she said she's purchased, she had a queen size bed before this. 
All right, let's get back to clothing for a minute here. I've got a small bag of goodies. So she got this in um, Colorado at like a summer creativity festival. I can't think of what it's called. Oh, Steamboat. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So it's called Steamboat. Um, and she got this there. It's like a little vest. It's um, super cool. So she uses these vests and she um, uses ties and makes them really fun and unique. It's got a bunch of different buttons on it. And then here's the other side. And then the back is just, you know, silk. So this is super cool. I don't know what size it is. Oh, it's got, looks like it needs to be washed. All right, I actually had one of these earlier this winter and it sold pretty well. It's a Bowdoin jacket. I had it in purple and it's got snap, snap button closures. So it's black and it's knee length. It's heathered, so it's got the like gray and white in it as well. And huge black buttons. Here's a label on the inside. Size 12. And I have another one of these similar. It's more of a trench style in my closet. It's a brand called Zelda, which is sold primarily at boutiques. Um, really, really high-end, well-made. Um, this one probably retailed for like $350. Um, here's the label. She ended up cutting out the size tag, but I think that this is a size 8. 8 or 10. It's got semi-padded shoulders, which is coming back into style, and it's got embroidery embellishments all around it, um, all around the trim. Really nice. And then here is the back. And then it's got these jet, it's got just a hook and eye closure in the front, so it's gemmed with these black buttons, but it's a hook and eye closure. So this next item is super heavy. It is a hand crocheted quilt. Um, and when I say it's heavy, like it is heavy. It is a good throw blanket, or it's a size king if you want to put on your mattress and be the warmest you've ever been in your whole life. <laughs> but it's ivory in color, and then whoever made this is a beast because they just, oh my gosh, it's so cool. It's got these flowers on it, um, and you can just see all of the different like patterns in between. Can you imagine sitting on your couch and being like, I'm going to make a king size huge crochet blanket and it's gonna be fine. And then I'm gonna sell it because why not? So there's that. And last but not least, I have some shoes. I have two more home goods and then shoes and a shirt, so I lied. Not last but not least yet. So this is just a J. Jill blouse. Um, it's got the first top button is lower cut, so you have like a little bit of a peekaboo wear a nude bra under this if you want to be super risque otherwise you could wear like a camisole of some sort um, here's the label and then it's a nice soft pink color and these two are ceramic loons not sure how these are gonna go I would never decorate my house with loons but in Minnesota they're really big it's our state bird woo so Got a little mama with the baby, it's so cute. Here, it's so cute. And then here is the big one. I will probably sell these separately. I don't know, can't tell. All right, so now I have some shoes and then I will be all done. Now keep in mind, she gave me some of these and she's like, they need to be washed. And I'm like, that's fine. I hate washing shoes, it's the bane of my existence, but um, the ones that need to be washed are Converse and those sell for me within like two days, two days. So I have another pair of these in my closet already. These need to be washed as well, so I apologize in advance. They are a brand called Burning Mev, which is usually sold in boutiques. It's that um, like wrapped or um, braided cross, I don't know what it's called, but anyways, it's that style. Um, and they've got these really nice um, rubber feet on them and really big, um, tracks words and then they're Mary Jane sling back Mary Jane so hold on to your feet
say hello. This is my baby Toby. I promise I don't let him go on my clothes and I lint roll them before they go out, so don't be hating. All right, so these are three pairs of men's Converse. I'm gonna kind of fly through these real quick. Um, we're missing shoelaces, I think they're in the bag, but these are bright ass yellow. <laughs> so these are Converse All Star, not One Star, so they're the higher end Converse. Does something spook you? Um, I have these in women's in my closet. These are the pair that need a lot of attention, but they are a patriotic um, style of Converse, also men's. And orange. And then my last item for today, I just sold the other pair that she had a couple weeks ago. Um, these are in better shape. These are Georgia boots. Um, I wasn't familiar with them until I started consigning for her. They're really high-end boot, kind of like Fry, um, but they're more of a work boot. So they're heavy. They've got really nice durable leather on them. Um, and then they have a lot of the uh, hooks going up the foot for extra um, support. And then the bottoms, like the truck, oh, the bottom is just so crazy. So yeah, I'm gonna take a big old scrub brush to these guys. Um, and then here is what the stamp looks like. Usually they have a, oh here it is. So that's what the um, tongue stamp looks like. So that's all I got for you guys today. I am gonna go rock climbing with Nick tonight, so I'm not gonna list any of this stuff because I don't want to. <laughs> But make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you'd like to um, like this video, press the little bell button if you want to be notified when I post future videos um, because I don't do it very often. I promise I'm not going to spam your feed. Um, leave any comments you have below, questions, concerns, whatever you might have. Otherwise, I will see you next time.